Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of risk management discussion point, guys. Okay, so basically here we will be discussing the risk things, guys, like risk appetite, red, re, residue risk and all those things. Those are some kind of terminology you can say, okay, yes. So we will be discussing some points, okay, yes. So different companies has their own goals and budgets to manage the vulnerability by applying various control strategies, right? So basically you cannot say you, if you are... And if you took a project from a large company, they will be giving you in some thousands of dollars, right? Yes. But if you go to a small company and ask them to pay in thousands of dollars, will they pay? No, because they are not willing and their budget is not that much high, right? Yes. So in that way. So basically, it completely depends on the company, right? Yes. So we are having some terminology that is nothing but risk appetite. So appetite is nothing but willing to accept. So basically, they will be saying food appetite, right? So, which you are going to accept in terms of food, right? So, similarly here, which are which you are going to willing to ask, accept. So, in terms of risk. So, if there is a particular risk which, which is very low, the value is very low, that is 0 0.001 occurrence. So, in that situation, you can just approve it, right? So, that is nothing but risk appetite. So, willing to accept. So, it defines the quantity and nature of the risk that organization are willing to accept. So, basically, based on your requirement, based on your acceptance, you will be deciding it, okay? Similarly, residue risk. So, residue is nothing but left out, guys, the word meaning, okay? So, even when a vulnerability has been controlled as much as possible, even then there is a chance of some small vulnerability or a risk existing, okay? So, having not been completely removed or shifted or planned. So, this reminder is called as residue risk. So, basically, assume that you are resolving a risk, guys, okay? So, you cannot say that once I remove the risk, there is no further occurrence of risk. We cannot say that because there could be some other risk, which is being hidden by this right so those risks are nothing but residue risks guys okay similarly documenting results so why we document results guys so everything in a documented format will help someone else guys right yes so if you wrote the detailed solution someone could read it and they can understand really easily right yes so documented result the results of the risk assessment activities that can be derived into number of ways okay so a report on a semantic approach to risk control okay so a project based risk assessment topic specific risk assessment, assessment so basically you can do in all these uh, fields you can say guys okay okay so this is a small example you can say guys recommended risk control practices so assume we need thousand dollars to protect from any particular thread but our company cannot afford that uh, that much amount to resolve a single thread guys so you will be installing a firewall which can resolve this thread okay and even that this uh, firewall is going to resolve some other errors or some other viruses it can filter right so hence this is an advantage and this will be approved right yes so if you are confused with it let me explain you again so assume that you are the company owner okay and a programmer or someone came to you and told that sir there is a risk with some virus okay so we need to install a strong firewall which will be costing about thousand dollars okay so what shall we do sir he asked okay so you will be saying that okay so that seems to be a lot right yes so that is the reason why assume that you are a small company okay yes so you'll be thinking that okay so now it will be a bit high cost you'll be thinking in that way yes okay so if the same employee told that sir along with that single worm we can specify we can sorry we can filter many things sir like we, we can trot trojan horse we can filter we can filter any kind of viruses worms any kind of dos attacks and all those things we can filter if he told in that way you'll be thinking that okay thousand dollars for these all things will be an advantage right so in that way you'll be approving it so that is nothing but practices so basically practices also plays an important role guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about these topics so in the next lecture we will be starting the next unit in which we will be discussing firstly about the security policies and standards guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching